Okay, so I know I am a bit late to the party with this Upbox review. This machine has been around for quite a while now and has even been upgraded to the Upbox Plus. But seeing as this machine is now kind of popping up everywhere on sale and in some cases you can even get this machine and a free Up Mini 2, it's seeming like quite a good deal. So I did want to kind of bring to light my experiences of using this machine over the last kind of four or five years on and off and in the different capacities that I have used it. So I've used it in professional education and now I've got it in my shed at home for a bit of a play. So the first time I used this machine was about four years ago when I had a real job in an architecture firm. We were printing and making huge architectural models, uh, 1 to 50, 1 to 25 and sometimes even 1 to 1 mock-ups of door handles and light fittings and all that kind of stuff. Uh, we only wanted to use ABS prints in, uh, on our in-house printers at the time just because of the surface finish we could get from them over the PLA prints. Uh, but you can imagine the warpage of bigger prints on some of the machines that we've been testing was quite significant. For the bigger prints at the time before we got one of these we were printing everything in nylon SLS that you'd get from Shapeways. Uh, you can imagine doing this would was quite slow so we'd have to order, wait for it to come and it, it's quite an expensive process. With ABS prints of this scale there's really nothing else like it in its class. The, there is still a slight bit of warpage with the ABS because of the scale but the enclosed chamber, the perforated bed, the heated bed and also the the print speed that it can get up pretty quick really makes for you know something that just can't be beat. I then left that job and for the last year I've been working at the local high school as the digital technology teacher teaching kids about 3D printing and robotics and coding and that kind of stuff. The accessibility and safety of, of this machine the kind of built-in core features of it have really shone in the education environment. Firstly the safety features like the HEPA filter, HEPA filter and the like, sensors that detect whether the door is open or closed have been awesome for the classroom environment. It means that I can just kind of have it in the room with us and just leave it and let the kids kind of squeeze through and have a little look. It's It's been pretty great. The only thing I would have kind of wanted to see, and I, I have seen this in some other reviews, thing, is that the, the lid doesn't have that same kind of sensor. So you can open it and stick your fingers in the mechanisms if need be. We would kind of like to see maybe a little locking mechanism or the same sensor system. I had a kid stick his finger in the fan and broke the fan. Didn't really hurt his finger, but but that's something I would have liked to see. The accessibility for the kids has just been phenomenal. It's been so cool. The auto level, uh, auto nozzle height, and the kind of whole easy use of the interface has been so cool for me as a technician. It means that I can almost just let the kids run with it and there's minimal kind of interference for me. The one thing I do kind of have a little gripe on is that the auto level just doesn't quite get it, so it gets it close but sometimes either too far or too close. The, the leveling, the auto level does work really nicely, but the auto nozzle height is a bit suspect. It, it gets it close, but not perfect. So you do have to kind of just double check it before you start your print. They've also upgraded the GUI since they brought this machine out. It is so much more intuitive, so much more accessible for beginners and people starting out. Even though you think they've kind of dumbed it down and kind of hidden all the features, if you do have a little dig in the advanced kind of stuff, you still can get quite deep into most of the things. The only thing that I do want to see a bit more accessible is the control of the raft underneath the on, underneath your print, you know, for the perforated bed. I um, mean, the old software was super easy to kind of adjust that to the point where it was almost nothing. Um, I would have liked to have seen that in this machine. You probably can if you dig somewhere deep, but I liked it, you know, in, in each print I kind of wanted a different setting for it. The other little thing that I do kind of have a pain with this machine, and it's a small thing, is that there's only a 500 gram built-in spool holder and the little sensor that kind of checks whether your materials run out or not is down the bottom there. If, if You can externally spool in on a kg or bigger roll, but I used to like having it above the machine. It meant a little bit less pull on the little extrusion motor. Um, at the moment the the little thing is right down next to the 500 gram spool roll and it just puts a little bit extra if you do externally spool off on a kg roll it does put a little bit extra on that motor and tends to block up 
more so when you're using a kg roll over a 500 gram roll just a little thing now in, in terms of the hobby use and kind of what i've got it in here for i will be using this thing like crazy over the next few weeks and i'm going to be kind of reporting back and showing you what i get up to how i use it in here how i kind of use it in my own realm um so just make sure you sub and keep an eye on what i'm up to there's going to be some cool kind of insights on this machine as a hobby machine because i know that there is so many other options at that hobby level for you know even a tenth of the price so i do want to kind of touch on that over the next few weeks so in conclusion it's no secret that i absolutely love this machine it's best in its class for the price you just can't beat it on abs on the build quality on the size of the print it's it's just unbelievable so should you buy one well if, if you're in an education environment there's really nothing better um, the accessibility and the safety and just peace of mind that things gonna just be there and run it's unbeatable absolutely unbeatable in a workshop and studio scenario you do have a lot more choice you know you got the brand new MakerBot which just came out and there's a few other kind of really good products in and around this price point but for this at the moment if you can pick this up with a little up mini 2 for your desk cool thank you so much for watching if, if you really enjoyed this i'm going to be playing with it for quite a while over the next few weeks make sure you like subscribe share tell your mum the whole lot and uh i'll see you next time